Hey guys, welcome to my second sword review. I think I might call these Billy's sword reviews in pajamas because I refuse to wear anything at home if it's not comfortable. But today I decided to do a review on the Windless Steelcraft's classic medieval sword. The reason why I decided to do these reviews isn't because I know more than other people about these products. It's because before I buy something like this, I like to do as much research as possible on the product itself. I like to read reviews, I like to get on forums, I like to uh, look at pictures, and, uh, and, and learn about as, a product as much as possible before actually buying something. And I noticed that for a couple of the swords that I bought, or that I was interested in, there was hardly any video reviews on YouTube, which was weird. Um, especially for this one. Um, I'm not gonna like give you the specs or the history of the sword. Um, you can find other videos out there that will tell you the history of the arming sword. Uh, but the reason I got this one, it's a couple of reasons. It's because it's it's your generic basic knight sword. Uh, I say generic in the most um, positive way. Um, but when you think of a knight sword, you think of something like this. Um, I'll go ahead and take it out for you. So. It's just your basic sword, nothing super fancy about it, which is part of the reason why I liked it. Um, you can't go wrong with this classic design, um, but it's made by Windless Steel Crafts. It is a 1065 carbon steel, so it does have some flex to it. Um, not really gonna do it too much here, but it can bend and flex. It's got a mirror polish, which I absolutely love. I am a sucker for the mirror polish. Um, I got it sharpened at Cult of Athena, and once again, they did an exceptional job sharpening this thing. It does not need to be touched up. Um, it is heavy. Don't let the looks fool you, or don't let, you know, other reviewers, you know, make you think that it's not heavy. This sucker is like a solid bar of steel in your hands. You can't really be nimble and oh, super quick about things. With this sword when you cut with it, you are basically committed to the slice. Once you go, you're gone. There's no stopping it. It takes a lot of power to stop and correct with this guy. Um, but he is a tank. He will beat and slice through pretty much anything you'll put in front of it. Well, maybe not really, but it is extremely tough and sturdy and very sharp. I have a feeling this would cleave more than it would slice. It's got a lot of weight behind it, and it could lob off a zombie limb pretty easily. But uh, I'll do some close-ups for you guys. This phone doesn't do good close-ups, so I'll just do the best that I can. It's just a basic iPhone. But yeah, you got your mirror polish, you got your long fuller going down the length of the blade, lightening it. <laughs> Not too much, because this sucker is heavy. Um, the handle itself has two risers, one here and then one here. It is a wood grip core wrapped in leather. It's got your stitching right there. Um, the blade is peened into the pommel, so it's not gonna fly out. Um, sturdy construction. The fittings are also stainless steel. Or not stainless, these are stainless. The blade's carbon, but these are stainless, I believe. Um, but yeah, it is a very nice sword. There are a lot of other cutting videos with this, not a lot, but there are a few cutting videos out on YouTube with this sword that can show you what it can do. I live in freaking Dayton, Ohio, so it's not like I can just take a sword outside and start swinging around in my backyard without having the cops call or something like that. I have to explain what's going on. Um, plus it would just look really freaking weird. But uh, yeah, if you're just looking for just a sword that a knight would carry back in the medieval days, this, this one is basically it. Um, it's only like $202 on Cult of Athena. Um, totally worth it in my opinion if you uh, like your basic medieval swords that are functional and sharp. Uh, comes with its basic windless scabbard, nothing to write home about. It's got the little steel 
cap with the belt stop and then it's got steel tape at the bottom for protection but yeah I read a review online somewhere where it said like rarely do you spend money on a product when you know it's just gonna be kind of vanilla that's not the case for this I got this knowing it was gonna be vanilla because it was almost like completing a collection um, I think every collector of European style sword should have a sword like this in their collection um, if anything just for completion but I hope this wasn't too stupid and uh, I encourage you if you uh, are wanting to pull the trigger on this sword hopefully this will help you make that decision easier alrighty guys well huzzah peace out